no physical existence of the store but the sales keep on happening to the online mode all the companies adopted this kind of the strategy that is work from home to save the cost of the geographical location to save the cost and also to maximize the productivity direct selling is a methodology to sell the commodity directly to the consumer by the manufacturer in terms of retailing it is a media which is going to transact the good only to the consumers not for the customers Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I am Mr Hemant Kumar from the Department of Commerce and Management Vidyashram First Grade College Mysuru the Temple of Excellence This is session 1 of unit 5 of the subject retail management that is impact of information technology in retailing for fifth semester bcom students here in today's session we are going to learn about the information technology that is used in retail business and also we are going to learn the things that is done by the information technology to retailing it is a contribution that is given by the science and technology for the business by artificial intelligence and also cloud computing this is the contribution that is given by the science and technology to the business environment by using artificial intelligence and cloud computing this is agenda of today's session we are going with concept of non store retailing that is e retailing non store retailing also we call it as a e retailing types of non store retailing information technology in retailing and also integrated systems and networking non store retailing so what is this non store retailing so this is a retailing without a store means there is no physical existence of the store but the retail business keep on running there are number of retail business which is going to run without the physical existence of the store say for an example mintra flipkart amazon these are the best example for the e retailing right so there is no physical existence of a retail unit but we can purchase the product to the online mode that is nothing but non store retailing non store retailing is a form of retailing which the sales are made to the consumers without using stores so as i said there is no physical existence of the store but the sales keep on happening to the online mode so it is going to sell the product directly to the consumers not for the resale of the product of course in terms of retailing it is a media which is going to transact the good only to the consumers not for the customers retailing is a media which is going to transfer the goods only to the consumers not for the resale of the commodity therefore the selling of goods and services without establishing a physical store is known as non store retailing without the existence of a physical outlet we are supposed to sell the product so that is non store retailing types of non store retailing so direct selling what is direct selling direct selling is a methodology to sell the commodity directly to the consumer by the manufacturer means the manufacturer he doesn't go through any kind of the intermediaries hence he is going to circulate his product directly to the end user of the commodity called consumer telemarketing so it is a way of communication to the customer about the product through the telecommunication it may be through telephone it may be through internet or it may be through fax it is a way of communication that is made by the manufacturer to the consumer automatic vending machines so there are number of automatic vending machines that is used in a foreign countries but in india we can see a very few in number means these are the machines which is going to give the ready made products by receiving the money means without any human resource this machine is going to work say for an example i want a coffee so this automatic vending machine provide ready to eat food baked snacks and also some biscuits and fresh juice means we can pay money to the machine and we can have it in india usually this kind of the automatic vending machines are available only in airports but in the foreign country we can see a number of vending machines that is available in each and every area this kind of vending machine that is available in all the foreign countries everywhere but in india this uh, vending machines are available only in airports this vending machine is also known as 
automated snacks and beverage vending machine now, right now we call it as a automatic vending so it provide the snacks or the food items 24 into 7 whenever we pay the money it is going to provide the food items electronics retailing this electronic retailing is nothing but e-retailing all the goods and services are sold or sales going to happen only through the internet so this e-retailing consists of a uh, two media of communication one is b2b and b2c means business to business and business to customer internet marketing so it is a marketing activity which is done by using the internet by the social media it may be whatsapp it may be twitter it may be facebook it may be instagram or it may be any kind of the advertising or the marketing activity by using the internet this internet marketing is nothing but using of the online mode to promote the company and its product means by marketing the company and its product we are supposed to use the online methodology that is internet marketing information technology in retailing so as we know the unit is about the information technology that we are going to use in retailing how the information technology impacting retail business so it is a impact of information technology on retail business it is automation the business can automate certain process techniques and the process including the customer service so as we know the information technology had given the contribution to the business to make all the activities that is going to happen from placing the order to the supply chain management and also to the vendor management all the activities it is going to happen automatically means it is the contribution of the information technology to retailing improved productivity as we know the information technology give the real time information about the stock of the goods sales of the goods and also purchase of the goods based on the stock sales or the purchase of the goods based on the historical data we are supposed to make a strategic plan and all the process that is going to happen in a retail unit in a systematic way and of course the productivity get increased improved customer service so from the information technology the customer service get improved when compared to the early days means as we know there is a automated system which is going to work as a customer service which is going to give 24 into 7 existence of the services if there is any default with the product the customer can easily launch the complaint against that particular product say for an example in amazon if I purchase some kind of a commodity, if the quality of that particular product is not good, there is an option to resend that product. And if any issue that is going to happen in that particular product, so I can call the customer care and I can raise a complaint. It is a contribution that is given by the information technology to the business unit. Means 10 years ago, 20 years ago, there was no such a kind of the information technology. There is a drastic improvement in the science and technology in today's generation, especially in the business unit. Remote working. So it is like work from home. So as we know, after COVID, all the companies adopted this kind of the strategy that is work from home to save the cost of the geographical location, to save the cost and also to maximize the productivity. Mobile technology. So as we know, there are a number of mobile applications that we are going to use to order the product, to send back the product, to release the review. And in the same way, it is going to facilitate all the ways, right? So we can purchase any kind of the product at any time, anywhere. Okay. So it is going to facilitate the customer. Management of resources. So it is also going to manage all the financial and human resource there are number of the automated systems that is given by artificial intelligence and cloud computing so it is going to manage all the resources whether it is a financial resource and human resource customer support there is a software called crm customer relationship management so by using this customer relationship management software so it is going to maintain the good relationship with the customers how this crm software is going to work it is an automated software i have a cell phone i have to recharge every month right okay this month i had recharged for 28 days okay after completion of 28 days the service get automatically stopped but before stopping the service three days early itself it is going to 
send the notification it is going to inform that your recharge package has been expiring by three days please do recharge so it is the contribution that is made by the information technology for the benefit of the customer because i don't know when the pack is going to end after 28 days so now so in the same way it is going to give the all the information regarding the product say for an example we do insurance whether it is health insurance life insurance or vehicle insurance so that is for the period of one month after completion that is for the period of one year after the completion of one year it is going to give the notification telling that still there are three days to go or two days to pay the premium amount so it is the way how the customer relationship management is going to work this crm software is introduced to maintain a good relationship with the customer integrated systems and networking under the integrated systems and networking, we are going to study the concept of EDI. What is this EDI? This EDI is electronic data interchange. It is going to exchange the data from one business to other business, means in the electronic format, that is electronic data interchange. It is a way of exchanging the data from one company to another company, one business to other business. Say for an example, there is a company called A. It had located in India, but there is a affiliate of A that is B. It is located in America. So whatever the documents that is maintained in America must be communicated to India means through EDI. Means it is going to send the information in the digital format or digitalized format only from business to business. It is nothing but transferring the data in the digital format from one business to other business. Hence, it acts as a communication media from one business to other business. It is a communication method that is used by a wide varieties of companies. Means whatever the product that we can purchase, they are going to scan the barcode and they are going to issue the product. So in that barcode, all the details of the product is included. My, like the details of manufacturer, the expiry date of the product, the quantity and the quality of the product and also the price of the product is included in that barcode. To collect the relevant information of the specified product, this barcode is used. Electronic article surveillance. So, this electronic article surveillance is used in the shopping malls. This is the software that is used to prevent the shoplifting. Electronic article surveillance. This system is going to deduct the unpaid items or the products in the pockets of customer. If the customer is going to lift the product without paying, means he is going to carry the product without paying the amount, means without billing. So it is going to activate it and the sensor get operated means this system is going to shout and make a noise so that they can easily make off who is going to rob the product. Electronic shelf labels. So this is a system that had adopted in foreign countries. The India had not yet adopted this electronic shelf labels. It is a labels that they are going to put to the shelf of the product means they are going to arrange the product in shelf but for the shelf they are going to stick this kind of the automated labels in that label all the features of the product and price quality and quantity of the product is specified it keep on updating from one time to other time based on the methodology customer database management system that is also known as cdms so it is going to collect all the relevant information regarding the purchase and sales of the product and also it is going to collect the information about the wants, needs and likes and dislikes of the customers based on the historical data that the retailer can decide the future product means in future what kind of the product must be bring based on the historical data we can decide the future of the retail store. The next session we are going with the concept of Legal aspects in retailing, that is a legal laws that must be followed in by the retailer, social issues in retail business, ethical issues in retail business and the artificial intelligence in retail business. These are the topics that we are going to study in next session. Thank you.